Hey, what up, Internet? Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to m put a custom boot animation on your droid. All right, for starters, let's um, plug in the droid, of course. Make sure you... Um, all right, so just plugged it in. I do have uh, the Motorola device installed. Make sure you, you have... Uh, your Motorola uh, is like A855 device driver installed um, or you may not be... Alright, second thing is um, get the SDK for, um, for the Android. Once you have that downloaded, now I have my SDK. So what I would want to do, I want to open it up and I want to go to tools. All right. Second thing is, hit Control R. It'll bring up Run. Type in CMD. Open up your command prompt. Okay. Next, go to uh, go to wherever you have your SDK installed. I have it in my I drive. If you're running Windows, you can automatically just copy it all, and then type CD, and then paste it all in there and bam you got wherever your SDK is alright so let's find my it's not going to be there so I have uh, it's a zip file and it's called rage right here let's put it on the desktop rage okay make sure you rename this, the zip file or the animation file that you're doing, rename it to um, what is it? Boot animation. All right. Make sure it is renamed there and drag and drop it into your tools, your Android SDK tools. Okay. Also, uh, also make sure your device is connected and you have debugging on turned on. And let's do so ADB and then type in device to make sure your device, eh, my bad, devices to make sure your uh, ADB is that you have your device connected. Now, for other people who don't want to type in all the commands, I'm also include uh, it's a Windows batch file and it's called load right here, this batch file. All you would have to do, uh, I'll include the SDK, everything with my boot animation. Already inside all of this SDK, I'll include the link. But what my load uh, does, all you have to do is click, uh, double click it. It brings up your device. It shows that you do have your device to make sure everything does work. Uh, if it doesn't bring up the device, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, as long as the device is isn't connected it'll just give you errors saying hey I can't find this device and it'll just skip through everything so once you once you have that installed you hit enter and it'll it'll put in all the commands for you and you won't have to do anything literally uh, but it's all it is is just three commands um, if you do the ADB uh, what is it ADB root um, or ADB, sh yeah, ADB shell. You will get the sh uh, shell command in the phone, but for some odd reason, I don't get access permitted to do the reboot command inside the shell. So ADB reboot will work just as fine. And right now, my device is rebooting. So let's take a look at that animation. I am going to change up the Motorola screen the way it looks right now. I am going to change it to where it's an Android peeing on an Apple logo. It's pretty funny. So let's take a look. It takes a while for the M to get away. That's why I wanted something more funny looking to enjoy. And here we go. The animation. Nice, ain't it? It's black.
And no, I did not make this animation. Uh, someone else did. I downloaded it. But it is really badass animation. Ain't it pretty? <laughs> Alright, and that is my Android turning on. And that's your cool new Android boot animation. And yes, uh, can your uh, iPhone have two different screens like this one? And uh, yeah, it is really cool screen thing. Yeah. Alright, enough was bragging.